Hi, this is Dr. Kat Fleece from Central New Mexico Community College. In this video F of the endocrine system, we're going to start discussing all the major endocrine glands together with the hormones they secrete and what impact those hormones have. We'll focus on, in this particular video on the pineal gland. So before we start with the pineal gland, we have discussed quite a few hormones already, whether it's in this class, Anatomy and Physiology 2, or even in Anatomy and Physiology 1. So those hormones that we've studied pretty extensively already throughout the semester, such as ADH and aldosterone in the kidneys and, and AMP in the kidneys as well, along with the blood vessel chapter, as well as the heart chapter, I'm not going to really go into great detail um, anymore when it comes to these hormones. I'm going to assume that you can um, remember what they do or you look up what, they, what they're all about. Also, a little bit of terminology before we get going. The hypothalamus produces hormones as well, as you know, and its hormones are often referred or end, I should say, in either releasing hormone or inhibiting hormone. And sometimes the term hormone is replaced with fact factor. For instance, the, hyp the hypothalamus produces a hormone called growth hormone releasing hormone. And another one, growth hormone inhibitory hormone. Or thyroid hormone releasing hormone. So these are hormones that are going to control the, the pituitary gland, as we'll learn. Now, many hormones particularly these releasing and inhibiting hormones, are also going to function as tropic hormones. And by that we mean a hormone that triggers the release or inhibits the release of another hormone by another gland. For instance, we looked at this specific example before in a previous video where the hypothalamus secretes thyroid hormone releasing hormone and that triggers the release by the anterior pituitary of thyroid stimulating hormone. So therefore, this functions as a tropic hormone. And then thyroid stimulating hormone triggers the release of thyroid hormone from the thyroid gland. So it also, that I'm sorry, TSH also functions as a tropic hormone. So let's get started now by going through the individual major endocrine glands and learn which hormones they produce and what the effects are of these hormones. So if we bypass the hypothalamus for now, we'll get to the hypothalamus when we get to the pituitary because they, they work together. We're, we'll first focus on another gland in our head and our brains, and that is the the pineal body. Remember, when we look at a mid-sagittal cut of the brain, this right here, this region right here, represents the diencephalon, with this right here being the, I'll just use a brighter color, um, this right here being the hypothalamus, where you have this spot here that is an indication that we're looking at the thalamus. And then Posterior to the thalamus and also covering the thalamus, I will fill it in a little bit, this portion right here, which is the cord plexus, as well as this right here, is referred to as the epithalamus, with this right here being our pineal body or pineal gland. So the main hormone that the pineal gland produces is melatonin, which I know you've heard of because you can just buy it here at the grocery store or at Walgreens. Um, of course, that's not a very well-regulated amount of melatonin in those pills or capsules or supplements that you might be buying. But why do we go and buy this stuff? Well, because melatonin is thought to really be affecting our sleep-wake cycle. So when we get closer to our regular bedtime, our melatonin levels begin to rise in our body. When we get closer, closer to rising time, our melatonin levels begin to drop. So our melatonin levels are going to be pretty low during the day. 
So a way, a way to help us go to sleep then is to supplement ourselves with um, melatonin. Melatonin also seems to have uh, an importance in delaying the onset of puberty. So with the help of melatonin, uh, puberty is, will start um, at a more appropriate time. There are mel many melatonin receptors in our hypothalamus, and therefore, by supplementing ourselves, we can influence the, the biological clock present in our hypothalamus, the biological clock that um, regulates our sleep and wake cycle, but also dictates when we're hungry, uh, when we're thirsty, uh, it regulates our body temperature, etc. In the next video, we're going to start looking at the pituitary gland, which is often referred to as our master gland.